Straight up on this episode of What's in My Bag, this one's an expensive one, but for those who can appreciate a stealthy and sleek design. The Vessel Sky Backpack is probably the perfect stylish school bag that you'll feel good about buying. So let's check it out. Here it is, the blacked out version of the Skyline backpack. There's a nylon exterior finish all over. At the very least, it does feel expensive. Anyways, let's get packing. Starting with the two front quick access pockets. It's a half zip on each, both the same size, except one is lined in this super soft microfiber and the other is lined with nylon with a key lanyard if that's how you like to jam with your keys. These soft pockets are great for anything delicate like sunglasses or your phone of choice. All the contents being easily accessible and the same goes for the other side. Mints, snacks, gum, whatever you need to keep your morning breath fresh. What's also nice is the pockets don't bulge outwards so the bag won't look like it has a huge chin they actually bulk up on the inside of the bag which does take up space in the main compartment but makes for a much prettier bag the bag also doesn't have an outside water bottle pocket which is unfortunate for my favorite water bottle of choice the contigo auto seal Cortland. a combination of the locking spout great for anyone that sucks at drinking water and the built-in carabiner which allows me to attach this anywhere since it's basically built like a tank and you can actually use the front pocket to store it too it's not the prettiest i don't recommend it but it's an option if you like looking silly now for the main compartment with the full roundhouse zipper you get complete access to to the rest of the bag. The interior is lined with this silver silky like nylon. I'm not a huge fan of the pattern text but it says filled with purpose. Essentially a reminder that you did something good with this bag. There's even a unique serial number which is a nice personal touch. And the bag just feels premium. I mean half the bag is made of this soft teddy bear skin. Although it lacks a water bottle pocket on the front it compensates with two mesh pockets inside which fits my Contigo perfectly. Stay hydrated kids. Next no school bag is complete without a physical notebook. Yes before iPads we wrote on actual paper. Like my favorite from Moleskin with their squared hardcovers quality paper and durable construction you can count on this notebook to store all your lecture notes you'll never look at again next this multi-purpose ruler from made by humans was too genius to not include it's a regular 30 centimeter ruler inches for the americans on the other side with a calculator built on top if you're looking to save space this won't equate the quadratic formula but it does do multiplication which you all need help with also these buttons are just highly addictive and can relieve any fidgety fingers a little chunky but eliminates the need to carry a separate calculator doubly win next up for you gearheads the cocoon gridded organizer to store all your knickknacks through any earthquake. So checking out all the goodies, starting with my external battery, the Anchor PowerCore Fusion. Another double purpose gadget, this is a full on 5000 milliamp external battery, generally good for two full phone chargers, but around back it converts to a dual port wall charger. Not only that though, plugging it into an outlet also charges the batteries, which means you'll never forget to charge this little guy. Now for large project files, especially if you're in the creative field, you can't go wrong with the Samsung T5 series. A single USB port in this metal construction keeps all your data safe. I also stick some Velcro on one side to keep a USB-C cable with it at all times. This is a full terabyte of data in the palm of your hands. Now this next one may seem a little odd, but hear me out. Carrying around a Google Chromecast allows you to utilize any monitor on campus, whether that be to share a movie or stream a presentation from your phone onto a projector. For its size, it doesn't hurt to have on you just in case. My budget wireless earbuds of choice, the new Funkel AI. Sporting a 24 hour battery life with the included charging case, there are no AirPods, but they're also a third of the cost and comes in black, win-win. Now the AirPods themselves, they're one size fit all, actually doesn't fit my right ear because it has a larger drum hole or whatever. But these Funko ones are a little larger and they actually sit in my ear really nicely. Shook my head. And the buttons are, I believe, touch control. So there's no clicking. It's just a little bit of tapping. And they actually sound pretty decent for the price. And it comes with a wireless charging case. So it lasts for a while. And I think most importantly, the AirPods have been out for so long that wearing something like this actually just looks normal now. Then just cables on cables on cables. I have a USB-C to C because it's 2019, but also these chiffon multi cables, which basically means micro lightning and USB-C to USB-A all in a single cable. They're braided and super short. So you're not being strangled by them. And they've got a slightly lengthier version too. I think you get the theme now, multi-purpose everything. The same goes for my oddly cute Kershaw Shuffle DIY knife. A nice matte finish throughout, this little guy carries hex bits inside its body, which means not only does it have this wicked 2.4 inch blade with a surprisingly ergonomic grip, you also have a flathead and Phillips bit you stick into its butthole for those odd jobs. Basically a multi-tool with a wicked blade. And like any multi-tool, it also sports a bottle opener. You just can't forget about them beers. It's just a really comfortable knife to hold and fiddle with. Now a notebook is a story untold without its sidekick, mine going to the Pilot GTEx C4 pens, simply because the tips are super super thin, making it great for sketches, or if you just suck at writing, it just won't look terrible. Then of course, the pen you have to have, the Fisher Space Bullet Pen. This matte black little rocket pops open to be a full size pen. It's comfortable, sleek, and a pressurized cartridge, which means you can write upside down or even in space. But mainly when closed, it's the size of my finger. So tiny, so glorious. And that's the Gridit, a matrix of different length straps you can organize however and whatever you want. Ta-da! 
It fits right into the main compartment and using the hook at top, retrieving whatever you need is as easy as this. Now this one's for those nights you shouldn't forget. The Instax SP2 is a photo printer that runs off your phone. Now you may wonder who still uses physical photos and you'd be right. But sometimes there's just a photo you have to keep in your wallet that'll bring a smile back from all the nostalgia. Now that moment is priceless. Well, minus the price of the printer and the film. Next up, I carry this semi-emergency waterproof Muji pouch. For those late nights at the library, the last thing you want is to walk into your 9 a.m. lecture with your morning breath still. So this kit has all your essentials, toothbrush, toothpaste, sanitizer, Tylenol, condoms, all inside this squishy little pouch. I like to stuff it in the other mesh pouch for just in case. Now this next one is my favorite piece in the whole bag, a portable 15 inch screen as thin as a regular laptop screen. The Vinpox split was just successfully funded on Indiegogo, and if you're tired of arranging several windows together on your laptop, that's where the split comes in handy. A magnetic screen cover that doubles as a stand too, with a single USB-C to C cable and you're up and running. A full dual monitor set up to work, watch, or play. No additional power cables, lighter than a notebook, and yes, it's touchscreen too. This is easily my favorite piece of tech this year. For such a small package, you're getting a full monitor setup. And yes, it can double as an actual screen to master all your Pokemon skills, or lack thereof. The carbon fiber case not only looks slick, it also does a great job keeping the whole package safe. With the laptop in its soft microfiber bed, the split slides comfortably in the pocket in front. And just take this in, that you have a full dual monitor setup in this bag. Mind blown. When it comes to smaller accessories, there's another zippered microfiber pocket on top. I store items I use with my laptop, like my trusty Logitech M510 mouse. It's large enough to not cause any cramping, but small enough to easily store in any pocket. My new go-to wired earphones when I edit, the Bose SoundSport in-ear. I can edit for hours without having sore eardrums in the end. Then in case you ever decide to take a break, the air deck is half the size of an actual deck of cards. Especially in the all-black finish, these are some great old-school pastimes away from screens. Grab some friends and play a good old game of Crazy 8s. If there are any valuables you don't want to lose, the new Tile Pros now come with replaceable batteries. And even when not attached to keys, you can actually just use it to find your phone. There's also another zippered pocket on top. It's slightly larger, but not made of teddy bears. I like to store the Timbuktu rain cover in here, although the bag is made of some tough nylon. Under some heavy rain, it never hurts to have some extra protection. Plus, you can also just use it to cover your head if you ever forget your umbrella. And that's everything in the main compartment. Dual monitor setup, water bottle, all the tech I need on the go, but there's one more quick stash pocket. Great for glasses or a phone again, but I like to keep a few other essentials, starting with this tiny SanDisk drive. 64 gigabytes of amateur movies. Or use it as a backup because how else will you copy someone else's notes from that lecture you never go to? Next, my favorite actual multi-tool is the Victorinox Mini Champ that has every tool you'd need on a daily basis, all in the size of a mini Mars bar. Flashlight, pen, Phillips, knife, scissors, you name it, it's hiding it. Next, my mobile photography kit. My go-to is the Oloclip set for the sole reason it allows for lenses on both the back and front cameras, which means trying to fit everyone in your selfie is no longer a problem. I also carry their new Pro Wide lenses and it's just glorious for landscapes, architectures, and well, amateur movies, if you know what I'm saying. Finally, my new phone tripod that folds into a large Mars bar, a Manfrotto twist grip with the Joby Micro tripod attached is my perfect combo. Made of metal all around, the setup holds my phone securely and at several different angles. Combined with the Ola Clip, you can get some pretty wicked time lapses or pair it with a wireless remote and get a group photo while still being in it. Then you can easily fold it back to something no larger than a few cigarettes. And all of that fits neatly into the top pocket, all the essentials ready to capture the moment. Finally, you know we gotta have the Hero Clip carabiner, a large metal carabiner that you unfold a hook from, clip it onto your bag, and never set your bag onto the floor ever again. You'll thank me the next time you go into a washroom stall without a hook. Then you can easily fold it back and leave it clipped onto your bag or stuff it into the front pocket if you want to keep the sleek look of the bag. Now the bag is only 19 liters, which is a great size for a day pack. It's not meant to store a lot of stuff, but as you saw, it stored my laptop, a second screen, and a bunch of other smaller pockets for like little doohickeys. And look, I get it, it's got a premium price tag on it, but here are some reasons why I really love this bag. First and foremost, it's not specific to the bag, but to the brand itself. Their initiative is that when you buy a bag, they actually donate a bag to a child in need. And so far they've donated over 29,000 bags. They're like the Tom shoes, but for backpacks. And honestly, that's the main reason I decided to check out these bags, because when you buy this bag, you actually feel good about it. Next is the minimal and super clean design. It's symmetrical, there's no extra doohickeys hanging out of it, and the branding is just this little thing down here. It's so simple that although the shoulder pads are padded and comfortable to wear, it lacks any chest strap and waist strap for additional support, which makes sense for what it's trying to accomplish. It's a 19 liter bag, a day pack, and it's not meant to carry heavy loads, so it doesn't really need a chest strap. And if you're a fan of black on black on black like I am, you can't deny how stealthy and sleek this bag looks, especially this soft nylon finish, which makes it, for the most part, water resistant.
Do note that the zippers aren't water sealed, but the main compartment is covered with the lips so your laptop is still in good hands. Another one of my favorites and what gives this bag a whole premium feel are these microfiber lined pockets. Like you just cannot, like you have to feel this. It's so soft. And the best part is this isn't the only one. Inside the bag, you've got a smaller pocket, again, microfiber lined and the whole back laptop compartment is also lined in that microfiber. So your laptop gets a nice little bed that it should always just sleep in. To top off the details of the bag, you have these leather accents along the pockets. You can also find it along the zippers here. And there's also a metal plate with a number on it that's kind of like a serial number for your bag. Next is quick access. Starting out with these two symmetrical front pockets, great for little dewy keys you can grab on the go, but there aren't any side water bottle pockets, which is good and bad. Bad because there's no quick access water bottle pocket, but good because if you bought the bag for its clean and simple design, you're not gonna ruin it by adding some ugly water bottle pocket to the side of it. That's not saying the bag can't accommodate water bottle pockets, it's just one extra step with the mesh pocket being on the inside of the bag. Don't forget about that top quick access mesh pocket where I store my mini tool and phone lens. And the nice thing is these three quick access pockets can replace all the pockets on me. So it stores my phone, my wallet, my keys, my condoms, you know, things you need to grab on the go real quick. And finally, the last reason why I love this bag are just all the pockets in general. Including the quick access pockets we talked about earlier, there are a total of 10 pockets in this bag. Super soft laptop pocket, mesh pockets, zippered pockets, and the main compartment. I like to use the graded organizer because I have a lot of small little do it keys, but if you don't have that much, you can easily just store everything in each of these pockets. And if you're not a gearhead like I am, you can actually fit quite a bit of stuff in the main compartment, like a change of clothes for the gym, a lunch, or like one or two textbooks, depending how edumacated you are. No coupon code this time around, but if you sign up for the email newsletter, you get a 10% off code, which you'll probably want with the price tag on this. And although I recommend it as the perfect school bag, you can continue using it once you get a hippie job in some tall building. Like and subscribe if you want to see more and let me know down below what your favorite product was today. I rest my bag.